most people, that means cash on delivery. But to the Canadian Mounted Police, it means Clyde's on duty. And today is the day of days when Clyde, after 83 years of faithful service, is to be given an honorable discharge. Mounty Clyde, it is men like you that have made this service what it is. Who's got the watch? Oh, yes. The usual reward was a solid gold $3 watch. And the Mounty who held it for safekeeping was our hero, Dudley Do-Right, the man who did everything he was told, incorrectly. Here is the watch, sir. Do-Right, what is this? Clyde's watch. I cleaned it. In the wash tub? No, sir. The washing machine. The discharge ceremony was held up while Dudley rode into town to pick up another timepiece. Alas, the only clock shop was a hock shop under the larcenous operation of that notorious ne'er-do-well, charlatan, rogue, viper. Keep going, I'm in there somewhere. Snidely whiplash. So you wish to purchase a solid gold $3 watch, eh, do right? Yes, sir, and to go. Whiplash promptly displayed an armful of watches, and Dudley selected the most glittering and the cheapest. Eleven cents, and it's yours. But Dudley was short on money and intelligence. I'll tell you what, you've touched my good-natured heart. I'll let you have the watch if you put up collateral. Unwittingly, and that's Dudley, he signed an innocent-looking document which simply turned the ownership of the post over to Whiplash. One week later... Uh, pardon me, Inspector, but why are all we Mounties standing outside the post with our bags packed? Because at... Five o'clock, Snidely Whiplash is for closing the mortgage on the post. Sure enough, at 4.30, Whiplash arrived, or slithered, onto the scene. Be gone, do gooders, and never darken my door again. Whiplash, you, you devil. Flattery will get you nowhere, Inspector. Defeated, the Mounties pocketed their pride and their meager belongings and made to depart. That's when Nell, daughter of Inspector Fenwick and post mascot, put in an appearance at the gate. Wait for me, Daddy. <laughs> And she moves like a greyhound. I'll tell you what, Inspector. You let me marry Nell and you can have the post back. Never, you cur. Nell is mine. But, Dudley, I think I could get to like Mr. Whiplash. You don't know what you're saying, Nell. Yes, I do. Stay out of this, do right. It's the only way we can get the post back. No, it isn't. Whiplash, how much cash must be raised by five in order to buy back the mortgage? Three million dollars and 45 cents. Hmm. That 45 cents is going to be tough, but I shall do it. I doubt it, but if you do, bring it to me. Nell and I will be waiting at the church. Dudley had no time to lose. All right, Mountie, you got yourself a deal. You and your horse jump off that tower into this bucket of water. I'll pay you three million dollars. And 45 cents. Right. Dudley had a fear of heights, but luckily his horse was normal. Keep your eye on the tower and on that great daredevil, Dudley Do-Right. That's Dudley. All right, horse, remember, this is for Nell. Over they plunged out into space, falling, falling, falling. As I mentioned before, Dudley's horse had no fear of heights, but he did have poor eyesight. We're a hit, horse. We did it. Now to collect the money. That was no easy task, for the circus owner, intent upon watching the breathtaking descent, had wandered too near the lion's cage and... Oh, I hope he had Blue Cross. Five o'clock, the hour when Nell would be lost to him forever. Oh, if only there was some way of foiling whiplash. If only... Quick, horse, to the church. At exactly 5.15, the wedding ceremony ended. I have Nell, Inspector. Here is the deed to the post. I shall hate to call you son, Whiplash. Perhaps I can elongate it a bit and make it come out all right. Call me anything you like, as long as Nell is mine. Ah, but there you are mistaken, Whiplash. Do right, you missed the services. Tell me, sir, is the post ours once more? Till the end of time, my boy. Goody. And now, Whiplash, I have a surprise for you. Oh? What you have just married is not Nell. You've been out in the sun too long, do right. Have I? I tricked you, you rascal. That's not Nell. That's my horse in an L suit. What? You married my horse. Prove it. I shall. Will the real Nell please come in here? All eyes gaped in astonishment as another Nell walked in. That is my horse. This is Nell. Say something, Nell. Bullwinkle will be back after these messages.